All right. You you know like <clears throat> so like I said, tables turn, right? But I'm gonna take you on my little trip to the hole, right? This is my first time in the hole, right? Well, what ended up happening? I'm gonna tell you the mission why I had to go where I booked somebody, right? So I'm right there. I'm a porter, right? <clears throat> I'm a porter in my building, and uh, the homie, uh, uh, what's his name? Grouchy from Violent Boys, right? He has to. He has to. Uh, he's only. He's a little YA baby. He, he was only 17 years old, and he was already in prison because he booked. Uh, somebody in prison. He stabbed somebody in YA, so they sent him to prison, right? So he was 25 or, or 21, and then he was going to go back to YA to, to, until he's 25. So, so he he has to go on a mission, right? So the way he's in prison, right? When we're collect, everything is about the about the end, right? You got you got to all the homies on the thing. You got to try to make money for them fools. That's the cause. When it comes down to it, the cause is put money in their pocket, put drugs in their pocket, and if you don't, you're no good. You're garbage. You're a piece of crap. All that, you're no good. I'm good with being no good. I'm a S and Y. I'm a dropout, and I'm happy with that. You know what I mean? I'm good with, with not getting extorted. I'm good with not getting punked. All, all that, man. I'm good with that. You know. But anyways, <clears throat> so I'm over here collecting, right? I got to get a dollar from every Sudanian. There's about 500 Sudanians on the yard, maybe. I got to get I got to get a dollar from each one in my building. You know what I'm saying? They got to kick him. But if they ain't got no money, then you know, all right, so be it. So that's the plan, right? So I'm walking around with a laundry bag asking the homies to come out. I was like, like, look, homies, kick in, eh? Uh, trying to buy a clavo for the carnales in the back. Nobody hit this weekend. Uh, everybody got to kick in the buck, homie, if you got it. If you don't got it, you ain't got it. So we're, uh, I, I go to this fool uh, from Dago, right? I go hit him up, and he's like, nah, I ain't got nothing, bro. I'm like, you ain't got one dollar in the, you ain't got a bar of soap or something, bro? He's like, nah, I ain't got nada for them. I said, all right. Keep it pushing. Well, my homie, my homie from Cohen, uh, he's on the yard, and I'm walking around. I'm like, what's up, dog? You got, you got a frajo? Let me get a frajo. He's like, hey, let's go to the house. I got a puck right there. I'll give you a puck. I said, all right. So I go into his cell, and he sells with that fool from Dago. And I look. I said, dad, dog, you balling, fool. Like, you going to give me more than a puck, homie. You give me some soups and everything, bro. He's like, that ain't my stuff. That's my sellies. I said, what? Oh, hell no. Nah. This fool just told me he got a dollar. He didn't want to kick into the homies, bro, for the for the, for the the cars, eh, for, you know, the kitty to get them their little clavo back there to the hole. They want to get loaded or whatever. He's like, oh, he did you like that? I said, he do me like that. I don't care, homie. I don't care about that fool's, eh, but what's up, homie? You want to come up on this fool or what? He's like, yeah, homie. I said, well, we're looking for a target right now. And uh, these fools are trying to, they want to book a Nathaniel Christian, homie. They're trying to say he's faking the funds. He's trying to hide behind the Bible and all that. So, I'm like, look, we can use this fool as a target, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't trying to kick in. You know, you can get whatever you want from his, and I'll just take some of his stuff, and I'll, I'll put a little something in the kitty, and I'll go let that fool alone. You know, I know he'll want to do this. He's like, all right. I said, boom, there it is. So we snatch up his stuff because that fool's at work. My homie comes up. I come up, and we put about 20, 30 bucks in the kitty, you know, for the carnales. And uh, so I go tell Love, uh, Lonely. He's like, yeah, that's the target then, homie. You know what I'm saying? But, like, look, check this out. Like I said, uh, um, the moral to this whole story is, you know, God makes good come from bad. You know, the name of this story is Blood on My Halo. This is a chapter in my book that I'm releasing. You know what I'm saying? This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. I feel like God put me in this position right here, like as a little collector or whatever, to change to change the way things were going, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, a Nathaniel was going to get hit, and he was a Christian, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's one of God's children, you know? So, like, he, I feel like he put me in this little position to switch targets, and I did that, and I was successful. But I, at the time, I didn't know it. This is all reflecting, looking back years later, right? And, uh, like I said, when I go to the hole, I come back out with the Yavis. I'm running everything, the whole A-yard, and I'm only 23 years old, you know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, I feel God put me in that position because, like, three northerners, they got blasted on the yard. They were getting rushed. They are telling the homies, hey, put your shirt on. They were telling the put your shirts on. You can't be walking our yard, you know, because the Sudaners are, like, 500 deep on there. There's probably been maybe 80, 90 northerners on the yard. They're outnumbered, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's going on. And I was, I was remember, I was going to church, so I know these brothers. There's a homie Stash from Fresno, Veterano. They call him Stash because he got a big-ass whip. He was running us, like kind of running our circle, having Bible studies. We'll be in the middle of the yard having Bible study, praying, all that, right? So anyways, 
Uh, clumsy. I mean, Grouchy, Grouchy gets it. The dude from Dango comes in from work. Grouchy rushes him. Boom, 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 boom. I'm, I'm a spotter. I'm a spotter. So if anything happens to old boy, I got to help him. Well, this little youngster, he starts getting molly watched. He starts getting beat up. So I'm like, damn, I'm the porter. And in my, in my little uh, broom, my little push broom, uh, at the end is a nail, right? So all I do is unscrew it, and I hop in. Boom, 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 boom. I start poking old boy real quick, right? And uh, I throw the broom uh, to one of the homies that's right there. I say, hey, put that back together, and I jump on this fool. And I'm yelling at Grouchy, like, hey, homie, get up. Help me get this fool, homie. This is your mission, fool. And I'm on this fool. I already dropped him, so I'm swapping him out. And the homie gets me, and we're both on him. The two hoodas, they're outside the building searching people because people are coming from work. The tower is backing up the two hoodas searching people. So the gunner, he holding a Mini-14, man. We over here doing missions. These fools got a Mini-14 pointing at us. If you're going to sit there thinking about going on a mission and you're really going to think about this fool pointing the gun at you, you ain't going to want to do that. So you got to block all that stuff out of your mind and go on this mission. And you're flirting with death, homie, straight up. You're flirting with death. And this fool was like, Hella close, like he's right above you, like, pie, he ain't gonna miss you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to, like, hurry up and just knock this fool out so I can walk away and get away with it and just let clumsy, uh, grouchy go uh, to the oil with the clavo, because he got a clavo in his ass, right? Take to the homies, tobacco, heroin, all that. You know, we lies, the whole works. That's prison life. And, um, but, uh, so, fool's on the ground, he's getting stomped out. And I'm about to bail out, and that homie, that, that fool, he ain't even my homie. I know I call him that. That fool, uh, Lonely said, nah, stay on him, bro. Stay on him till you get caught. I was like, damn. So we're on him. We're beating this dude half to death, homie, for like five, ten minutes, homie, until the cops come back in from searching. And they see us on this fool, man. He's already he's already done. He's already bleeding on the ground and everything. I'm like, damn. And they come, and they pop at us, pop. But it's the black gun, right? And then they hit the other one, pop. And I just, like, bail out. I skirt out behind the table, and I duck behind it like as a shield. I get gaffled up. I go to the hole. I'm in the hole. The hole's a whole different trip, man. i never been there. <clears throat> it's a trip, man. It's like, uh, so I get in there. I'm, I'm in the cages, right? They're like stand-up cages. got to strip out and everything. And while you're in the cages, you just see, like, there's like maybe mm, 100 cells, maybe top tier, bottom tier. And there's homies, and, and, and their doors are like uh, honeycomb, like a honeycomb. It's like a bunch of dots. So there's a homie right there. Hey, homie, you guys are, uh, you guys Sureños or Norteños? We're like Sureños. So all right, homies. Hey, uh, where you guys going? We're like going over here downstairs. We're like all right, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go down there right now. It's like all right. So we get in the cell, right? <clears throat> and the fool's talking about, you see me? I'm down there, right? And I'm like, nah, I don't see you, homie. Where you at? So me. I'm not knowing. This is my first time in, in prison. This fool threw a fishing line, and it came down, and all I saw was a piece of paper in front of my house. I didn't see no uh, line. I didn't even see the line. It was that thin. It's some string. A line is a string. And that fool's like, I'm right there in front of your house. You can't see me or what? I'm like, I don't see you, bro. Where the hell are you at, dog? I'm, but I'm talking to him through the vent. You know what I'm saying? He's upstairs. I'm downstairs. So I'm, like, feeling hella dumb. Like, man, am I blind or what, Sally? I don't see nobody in front of my house, bro. He's like, dog, it's a piece of paper in front of your house, dog. There's a linea. Grab the linea. I said, how am I going to grab that, dog? I'm in my cell. He goes, man, make a line, bro. I was like, man. So anyways, long story short, I get the line. I get the wheel out, whatever, whatever. We tell him what happened. We got the cloud, all this and that. Ha homies are happy, right? Homies are happy, this and that. <clears throat> so they put me in the cell. Okay, me and me and Grouchy, uh, we separate, right? They put me in the cell with some fool named Kujo from Coachella. I guess he messed up on the yard, right? I get a kite and say, hey, homie, tonight, get off on your Sally. Beat him down. Uh, look over here to our section because, like, we, it's, it's, there's, like, a wall between us. They say, look to our section, and uh, at 8 o'clock, I'm going to flash my light, homie. That means get that fool. So it was some fool named Big John from uh, Orange County. So he had the keys for the hole. He was, he was a shot caller back there. So at 8 o'clock, I'm right there looking at him. And, uh, but I already gave my Sally the heads up, man. You know what I mean? I'm a gangster about mine, man. I'm not going to do feed my Sally or nothing, you know? He just had a discipline coming, you know, 113 seconds, that eh, regulation. So, you know, he gets the heads up, and I'm like, you ready, Kucho? They signed me. He goes, yeah, let's get it. So we start getting down. Brrr, I drop him right away. I'm not trying to act like tough guy or whatever, like I'm super gangster, but I know how to fight. Hella good. 
You know, my grandfather, he taught me martial arts. He was uh, uh, in the Korean War, so I know that secret stuff, right? I'd be knocking fools down back to back. So, boom, I, I, I touched this fool up. That's my first mission, right? I flashed the light, give him a thumbs up. He's like, all right. Boom. They shoot me a little paper, some heroin, some cigarettes, a lighter. I'm talking about shoot the lighter back. Yeah, all right, cool. Good job, homies. And that's it, bro. I picked up 100 days for that, bro, because uh, the cops seen it, right? And they come back. Like, everything good in here? I'm like, yeah, yeah, everything's good. Are you sure? I'm like, yeah. And they asked my celly. He said, all right. He goes, we were just horse playing. He shouldn't even said that. And I'm like, all right. A couple of days later, I get a 115. Next mission, me and Chongo from the Sioux Crazy Ones from Verdugo. He's the homie, right? Well, we're in the hole. We're in the hole. We're doing the routine. In the hole, they're little, they're like little, uh, 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 they're like little yards, man. They're little yards. Uh, uh, it's a group yard. Probably about, hmm, a dozen homies out there, maybe. You know what I'm saying? There's a little shower out there. Everybody take a shower after they work out, whatever. But there's nothing, and there's a wall. And we should play handball right there, but it's hella close, right? And the cop's right over us again, you know, the catwalk. So we're right there, homie, and we're working out. We're doing routine. We're all lined up like straight soldiers, man. And, um, you know, I did that, right? We were working out together and everything, bro. Like, we'll do a little one-hour routine, man, right? But the fools I respect, <laughs> hey, the homies that I respect that got their money, money, right, was the North Daniels, man. Their fools will work out for, like, three hours, bro, straight, right? They'll have one black, one Mexican, one black, one Mexican lined up as their, as their leaders because the blacks go to their yard with them and then the whites go to our yard with the, with the suit. We just knock out a, a, a an hour. It's a hard a routine, but they're fools. They're doing brown eagles and thousands. Like, and if they mess up, they're out of line. Their cuenta ain't in line. All that. Boom, homie, they got to start over. And like, it's crazy, man. I used to trip out. Like, man, I feel bad for them fools. I know they're in pain over there, but they be getting their money because they're outnumbered. So they got to be harder. They got to be stronger. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, I'm right there, homie. And it already happened twice. There was this fool we used to call Krusty the Clown, some goofy old white boy. He was even a gang member. But that fool, he'll be in the, in, in the routine, homie, laughing and clowning and doing some dumb old jokes, bro. Like, while we're doing a serious routine, you know what I'm saying? We're over here in front of the northerners and the blacks, and we're trying to look like, like solid, you know what I'm saying? Like straight soldiers, like ready for war, you know what I'm saying? And this goofy old white boy's over here dancing around like he's Madonna or something, doing some dumb old jumping jacks, bro. And me and Chongo are looking at this fool like, man, what the hell? Like, and say, hey, homies, I'm me and Chongo in the back, right? And where the showers are at, there's like a bunch of water right there, puddles and stuff, right? And uh, I look at the I look at the uh, the leader, homie. I'm running to Rutina. I say, hey, homies, like, what's up? And I, I like. I throw my head over there like towards Krusty the Clown. I said, what's up, dog? This fool's an idiot, homie. He goes, go ahead. Come on, Chongo. And then me and Chongo just jumped on this fool, homie. We stomped him out, beat the dog crap out of him, man. And after the gunner shot at us, right, he shot the block gun again. They shot twice. And then we got down, right? As the third time, they picked up the Mini-14. To me, it's not that serious. I'm not trying to get killed, bro.